Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This time a long overdue minion video, but I was very, very fortunate to win this one uh, the other night. I stayed up to try and do this for you, and that's to get the Gaia minion in particular. Uh, the Gaia minion then, as you can clearly see, is representative of Gaia from the Edenverse and Eden storyline in general. And uh, yeah, she, she wields a large hammer, as you can see. A lot of people want this hammer as an actual item you can wield, maybe for warriors or something, or maybe even an entirely new job. But so far, we don't have that. You just saw her idle animation pounding the ground there. We'll show you that in greater detail in just a moment. But first of all, we have some text to read. It says, Summon your wind-up Gaia minion. Those who think the hammer is just for show had best watch their toes. Yes, you don't want to smash toe. That's a really horrible, painful thing to happen. Supposedly discovered by those investigating the empty, its appearance there is both inexplicable and implausible. Considering all the other unlikely events that occurred there, however, perhaps the sudden materialization of a hammer-wielding mammoth is not so unusual after all. There's her, uh, her tracks there of her feet with those uh, high heels, those big boots. And uh, hidden text, if you highlight over a leather patch in the game on a minion or a mount, this text appears. It says, let me get this straight. You came to talk to me about biscuits. And that's a quote there of Gaia from that particular questline I won't spoil for you. In fact, we're not going to spoil anything. I'm not showing you anything to do with the actual raid. It drops in there. Um, it's a very low drop. Well, it's a guaranteed drop chance, but you're very, very unlikely to win it unless you roll something like a 90 or higher. 100% uh, drop rate every time you clear the last boss of Eden, uh, which is, of course, known as Eternity. We're not going to click on it either. That would be a spoiler too. That would give you too much of a glimpse, but it's called Eden's Promise Eternity. Okay, on normal mode. The savage mode also drops it, but obviously, you know, normal mode and all of that. So this is what she looks like. Um, in fact, let's resummon her so that we are resetting her pose animation. And we'll do that same for Mioni. And then we'll go into Zhipos, and then we can pan around her lovely character. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. It's very faithful to actual Gaia. Um, which is a good thing, considering that's what it's attempting to be. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this one a lot. The hammer is just making me even more salty that we haven't got this as a warrior weapon or access to this as, as a, a different class in the game yet. Hammer-wielding classes would be so cool in this game. Um, they really would. Just as an extra two-handed DPS, you know. Think of all the things you could turn into hammers. Can you imagine a titan hammer? That would be amazing. You know, all of the different sort of, you know, Ramu hammer could be a lightning hammer, like force hammer. Just all of the possibilities are endless. I think the quality of this model is really, really nice. Uh, there's not really any pixelization. Um, they've done a really good job of keeping the resolution correct. It's accurate to the model it's representing. Yeah, I mean, she's sassy, she's Gaia, and we get a form of her outfit, sort of, with the new Eden gear, with the casting stuff. But it's, it's you know, I was personally hoping that we would A, get her hairstyle eventually, B, get her hammer, and C, get her glamour. One of those, but it turns out we didn't really get either of those, did we? So, of course, her idle animation is the hammer swing, which I believe, I don't think she's obedient, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, no. So... At this point, because she won't react to your emotes, what you would need to do if you wanted to trigger the actual animations yourself, even though she's doing it herself quite easily, you would have to change your title. Now, in the game, there are titles you can obtain, um, as we will see if we scroll down. Mama Tia, pet collection title from Follow the Leader 1. That's from collecting, um, obviously, minions in the game. We put that on, and then we can go up and trigger those animations. So I hand over emote with the Mammoteer pet collection title on. We'll get her to come and feed from your hand, which is hilarious. It's like we're feeding her biscuits. Here, try this biscuit. It's a bourbon a bourbon biscuit or a, a custard cream. And as far as I know, it's a poke, right? Yes, if you poke her, she tries to smash your face in, which is absolutely adorable, isn't it? Who doesn't want to get their toes smashed in? By a miniaturized Lolita. 
Yes, absolutely. Let's get a better angle of that in the, in the old jippos. I do love jippos for this sort of stuff. It looks so cool, doesn't it? There's a lot of people who will uh, really enjoy this animation. Because, of course, on one of the fights um, from a previous tier, Gaia does use her hammer in this exact same way versus a rather large obstacle that we won't talk about. Very cool. I would highly recommend doing the Eden Raid. Um, personally, I'm not a massive fan of the new wing. It's not grown on me fully yet in terms of boss mechanics and boss fights, but we'll see what it's like in Savage as my static eventually gets its act together and gives it a go. But um, yeah, not not the worst here, not, not my favorite so far uh, range of bosses, but it is really nice to have both a Reen and a Gaia minion. A lot of people might be wondering if Gaia and Reen actually interact as minions. Uh, unfortunately not. There's no point in me including footage of that here, but I have tested it at great length. I tried it with uh, multiple different NPC characters as Mammoths, and uh, none of them interact with her. They just sort of do their own thing. Uh, two Gaias don't interact, two, uh, you know, a Reen and a Gaia don't interact, which is a real shame. I was hoping that there would be at least like a hug emote or, or something hidden in there a missed opportunity perhaps then by square enix but at least we get gaia as a minion and uh, she's rightfully where she belongs in my collection anyway thank you all so very much for watching this video hopefully this has answered some questions let me know if you too have got yourself your gaia minion yet if you're still planning on farming for it and um yeah made a made a the odds be ever in your favors when it comes to roles and i'll see you all next time much love Stay safe and enjoy your Christmas. Bye-bye.